Good evening, greetings, and salutations. This is Passionate Bliss, and I'm here again tonight with questions, comments, and useless facts about me. But first, go to my YouTube channel, Passionate Bliss, comment, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you over there. The full video is always on my YouTube channel, okay? Um, the questions that I have tonight actually stemmed from a couple of dates I went on this month, and my questions were these. What is the most important component of a relationship? What do you think is the worst thing that can possibly happen to a relationship? And what do you think you should be looking for from the very first conversation to the very first date when you're first getting to know somebody? What should you be looking for? My comment for today is this. Without communication, there's no relationship. Without respect, there is no love. And without trust, there's no reason to continue. Okay, useless facts about me, my answers to these questions. Um, I have always thought that kindness was the most important thing in a relationship because I see it lacking so much in relationships today. But I might have to go ahead and revise that after this month to communication. Um, the worst thing that I think can happen to a relationship is for people to grow apart, to lose that excitement, that feeling that you had when you first met them and you always wanted to talk to them, you always wanted to be around them. To lose that and not be in love anymore, that is the worst thing that I can think of that can happen to a relationship. And the last question, what should you be looking for from the very first conversation to the very first date? You should be looking for communication compatibility. Because, you know, once the lust wears off, once the uh, romance wears off, once you get older and uh, body parts aren't working anymore like they used to, and there's no passion involved anymore when you're 80 or so, um, the only thing you're left with is communication. So you have got to be compatible in communication. First, last, second, always. Okay? And um, I'm going to go back to the drawing board again and I'm willing to revise what the most important aspects um, of the relationship are um, because of some interactions I've had and the, the funny thing about it is these gentlemen were both in their 50s so you're thinking oh maturity I'm gonna have great you know stimulating conversation no no um, I think that uh, communication compatibility is lacking a lot it's lacking um, people, I think, have lost the art of uh, listening and responding. Um, a person that I recently met couldn't explain something that he said. He said it's an opinion. People shouldn't have to explain their opinion. Well, that's called communication, you know. So am I to understand that people are saying things and not explaining why they said it? They're making feeling statements and not explaining why they feel the way they do? Just so you know, I don't know isn't an answer. And if someone asks you an opinion question, well, what do you think about that? What's your opinion on this? There's no wrong answer because it's your opinion. They asked you what you thought. You can't get it wrong. Okay, so to refuse to answer an opinion question to me is absurd and you're somebody I can't talk to. Okay, um, I think it's also important. People say don't talk about the ex. It is important. Um, and I usually ask them about their ex because if he calls her a bitch, it's not going to be long before he calls you a bitch. Okay. And if he blames her for the relationship without taking any accountability, that's a red flag. Okay. And so I do ask about the ex. And then as far as communication goes, um, let's see the other scenario. This person, um, didn't like the setup of the communication. And so he shut down and refused to communicate anymore. So if you're going to shut down and refuse to communicate over a conversation that isn't even important, it's lighthearted, it's fun, um, and you're going to shut down, that's a communication incompatibility. If he's going to shut down and cut off the conversation for something little, what is he going to do when it's something big? Okay, so I do think that communication compatibility is vital to the success of a relationship. And um, you should be looking for that from day one. Because things that are little, they're going to become gigantic, especially when all the lust and the passion wears out and all you got left is him and his conversation or her and her conversation. And you're not compatible in the way you speak, in the way you communicate. I can't imagine 
I can't imagine a more miserable fate. Okay, so definitely be looking for communication. Kindness might come second. Because I looked up three different lists um, where, it's, where I said, you know, what's the most important component of relationship? Okay, there were lots of things. There was, uh, let's see, communication, trust, respect, loyalty, honesty, compromise. All great things. All great things. But at the core of them is emotional stability. Emotional maturity. Okay, emotional self-sufficiency was at the core of them. But every one of those lists, and actually, I looked at more than three. I looked at even about five. One had five most important things. One had ten most important things. But on every one of those lists was communication. Communication. So I'm reformed. I'm going to revise my opinion. And now my uh, most important thing to look for in a mate, in a relationship, is communication. Okay? With that being said, y'all have sweet dreams. Wait to find them real.